And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for round three of our seasonal tournament. This is the Monuments of Power. Was That was the last expansion in the Call of the Mountain set. So this is the, the Monuments of Power um, seasonal tournament. We are so far, we are one and one. Our Poros have been uh, letting us down, but uh, we're about to play round three. And it'll be fun and exciting, so it will start here real soon. Let's get let's get to it. There we go. We are ready. All right, what do they got? All right, so we're gonna have to beat Lee Sin Zed. I'm not. Or again, we're not gonna play against Frostbite mid range. That deck's too good. All right, so let's let's write these down. So we're gonna write down um, the cards in their deck. And I'm kind of putting them in columns um, with the uh, three ofs on the left, two ofs on the right. So Elise is a two of. They are playing two Chronicler of Ruins. I like seeing that because I don't think that, that card's that good. All right, and then all the one ofs. Lots of one ofs. So we're going to have just one Crumble, one Vengeance, one Ledros. And one ruination. Okay. And now the lease and Zed. Three Eye of the Dragon. Two Claws of the Dragon. Three Guiding Touch. Three Pale Cascade. Three Nopify. Two Hush. I hate seeing that. Hush, Hush is great against my decks. One Sun Blessed Vigor that's going to go to the bottom. Two Deny. One Concussive Palm. Three Deep Meditation. Three Lee Sin. Okay, I got a little bit extra time. I'm going to kind of um, star the spells. So it's a little easier to find them because a lot of times looking for like what kind of spells they can have. All right, just to see what their deck's like. So they had, they had a Kato. That's cool. That's cool. Um, this is a weird Lee Sin deck. Y'all are saying? I said all three of them were kind of weird builds. I've seen I've seen like this kind of Twisted Fate deck before. With that, that, that kind of looks familiar. No, they banned the good deck. Okay. I like my chances of Terra Draven against either. Poros. I like my chances of Poros against Go Hard more than Poros against Lee Sin. I think let's lead, let's lead with Terra Draven. Hopefully. Ah, I'm going to say hopefully get the Lee Sin deck. Okay, so we're going to be facing Go Hard. So just one, at least, like this, this deck is, can be pretty rough against Hush. Precious Pet's good, but obviously it's not great against Go Hard. But I wonder if I should still keep it with having the attack token. I kind of think I should. That's a good draw. Um, I've learned not to mulligan Culling Strike because you have to, you know, we have to be able to kill Twisted Fate. Otherwise, you know, Twisted Fate will just stay in play, level up. Can't let that happen. Our deck has tons of two mana spells. That's what I'm kind of hoping to draw right now. This is unfortunate. They had their two of champion Elise, and I had I didn't get any two mana card. Our deck is filled with two mana cards. I got none of them. Really, Legion Grenadier, now you show up. Didn't want to show up like a little bit ago. Be able to block Elise. Let's do this. Ah! 
So they only have two Elise in their deck. From the darkness. <sighs> Do I trade Draven for Gohard and Elise? Probably not. Hey, buddy, what you doing? I'm ready to shine. Probably not. Oh, they don't have two go hards. Like a fish in water. Yuck. <laughs> and so yeah, it's either go hard or glimpse beyond. I don't love either of those options. Glimpse beyond would be pretty good too. I like the Pill Cascade, so I'm gonna be ca I'm gonna be playing get Pill Cascade this turn. If I play Grenadier, then I have three extra mana, so then I can also Culling Strike. But Iron Ballista, of course, with the Overwhelm, is gonna be more valuable than the Grenadier. I think I go with the the Ballista with the Overwhelm. Keep up, keep up. Beyond. All right. Sprayfin is such a great card. Um, that next turn, six mana. Yeah, I mean, I, I think, like, right now, I'm probably going to Culling Strike a Spray Fin, because, you know, my life total is kind of low. Oh, yes. she does all I'm not sure if I should be playing that pre-combat or not. Yeah, this is working out for my opponent pretty well. They, you know, they're getting some good synergy and everything. I know this Ballista dies to a go hard, to another go hard, but I don't want to risk. I don't know. Maybe it's not really any risk to block with Tarek. Maybe that's not even a risk. I'm blocking with Tarek because if they have two go hards. Right, dead anyway. All right. Let's see. Three. Man, they keep on drawing Elise. That's their third Elise. They only have two in their deck. My true beauty is beneath the skin. So I want to level up Terra, except I, I have to target four times before I attack to get the can't take damage or die. Lost in reflection. So that means transfusion. Spinning axe. I am the protector of the mountain. Wish I had one more mana for this elixir of wrath also. 
Never submit. Definitely wish I had one more mana for Elixir of Wrath. Which I guess I, I guess I could have just gone Elixir of Wrath instead of Blessing a Targon, and then I would have had Transfusion also, and that would have been like the same damage. So yeah, no, I would have still wouldn't have had a lethal, but. This is gonna be close. Can we survive and attack one more time? Yeah, build your own Darius. I'm always up for a round or two. Build your own Darius. So they played two Gohard so far. That's what I'm just hoping they don't find it anymore. Go on then. Of those. Ball, folks. Dumpy go hard. Okay, well that's not great either. That's their second glimpse beyond. That's not good. That's really not good. Uh. This is gonna do five damage to me. Six. to kill that thing is you have something else you want to play before attacking anyway. There's plenty of killing left. Yep. Lady Luck is smiling. So if I block everything. Darn. I have to I have to block everything to go to one. Got an axe with your name on it. I might as well block this is Let's gonna see. hurt for you. They just have to draw a card to level up Twisted Fate. Yeah, I really need to keep that iron bliss alive. Hey, buddy, what you doing? Yeah, we got to block Twisted Fate with Traven. So I got to hope for Might. Might. Never mind. Um, Captain Farron. Captain Farron, you would be a good card to draw. Or Iron Blista. Kato, I don't have anything for you to support. Poros are gonna have to win both games for me now. Scratched. Through the coral. Poros are gonna have to win both games. Oh wait. I always forget how this works. Okay, never mind. We just have to beat Lee and Zed twice. Okay, never mind. All right, yeah, we're good. We can beat Lee and Zed twice. I, why do I always forget how this works? <laughs> it's 
It's just, it's a confusing format that I'm not used to. Okay, this is better though. I get to play Tarek Draven again. Oh yeah, so they're not playing, they're not playing the, uh, the two mana 3-2 that makes gems. They're not playing that card. I like all these cards. I figured that we would probably find, by turn three, we would draw a card that costs one through three to play. See? Oh, they do have Mountain Goat? I guess I just missed writing down Mountain Goat. Yeah, I don't I don't have Mountain Goat written down. I guess I must have just missed it when I was writing down all the other cards. Well, that really hurts. So my hand is not good against it. So I thought they were going to, you know, with no Mountain Goat, I figured, okay, well, they'll be slower with no Mountain Goat. Um, that was not the case. I see purple. Each life a rare jewel. No. All right, so pump spells they have Bastion, Guiding Touch, Pale Cascade. Fade and be gone. Just be doing this attack to get. All right, they have the one Sunbus figure. I'm not playing around a pill cascade, I guess. And why am I so bad at this game? Why am I so bad? I'm sorry, I'm frustrated. Mystical levitation requires concentration. We should still be okay. I think that we are... I think that we're good. So next turn, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. <clears throat> if I play the soldier, I won't have Culling Strike. So they'd have to have... No, they could, they could have Nopify and all that kind of stuff too. Let's let's play the soldier. Proud warriors of the sun's true light. So I want to draw a spell that costs two or less mana. So I want to draw a Pale Cascade or Transfusion. That is not that. Follow the horizon. They are playing too hush. Never submit. Up, up. That looks like a hush. That's bad for me. Hush is what they need to stay alive. 
Oh yeah, they have the, they have the one concussive palm that I wrote down at the very bottom. Right, that saves them eight life. So this will get through um, Guiding Touch. Guiding Touch won't save the Mountain Goat. All right, so they got so I got rid of the two one the two one ups, the Sun Blessed Vigor and the Concussive Palm I've written down at the bottom. So that's their two one ups. They're playing three Nopify and two Deny, so most likely they have. Cool, got a Hush out of their hand. That's good. Um. I am the protector of the mountain. I'll keep my Terra from dying as well. Terra going to four health with the tough. One of those last three cards being Deep Meditation. Pretty nice. So I really hope they they haven't found Lee Sin. Obviously, Lee Sin kills us. So don't play. Why do they have to have Lee Sin? The Dragon Spirit Awakens. Well. Force is meaning. So they have to play four gems, so they won't have mana for. So I have to. I have to. I'm playing like the Draven. I have to hope they challenge one of the smaller things. And not Tarek or Kato, but of course it would make sense for them to challenge Tarek or Kato. But I have to hope they challenge something else like this Draven right here. Darn. Frustrating. Whatever, man. Not my fault. I lost twice with Tarek Draven. Where, where we went wrong? And sometimes things just just really work out for them. Yeah, they had the that one sun blessed vigor, and then the you know like that plus the the pale cascade. That was perfect. You know, obviously I, I could have played a might to play around that, but. That was perfect for them having that one of Sun Blessed Vigor to go along then with the Pale Cascade keeping that thing alive and then that one Concussive Palm. Both their one ofs were just absolutely perfect. I guess that's why you play them as one ofs because they, they just win the game for you. I also, I didn't write down that 3-2. That Maybe I should have mulliganed a little differently, but that just all went so perfect for them. It's frustrating. And of course... Like this, our our deck right here is usually pretty fast. Usually we can, you know, for the most part, playing against Go Hard decks. You know, like we went, I went three zero against Go Hard the other day. Whenever we played it, we lost to Go Hard this time. They had it, you know, like they just had like that really fast start with the, you know, I I didn't have a one drop, didn't have a two drop, or no, I did have the one drop, but I didn't have a two drop. They had the fast start with the Elise, and then you know had multiple Elises crawling sensations, even though they're only playing two Elise. And got to go wide, but they did get you know two Zap Sprayfins and the Chronicler killing the Zap Sprayfin, and so they're able to find Go Hards really fast. Usually we can kind of kill them with that deck before Go Hards, but because uh, I I remember whenever we beat it the other day when we won all three, we we killed them fast enough that they didn't have the chance to get to Go Hards. But I didn't have I didn't have Might with that that game, and so. Um, that go hard game, so I didn't have might for the Tarek to get all the overwhelm damage in with Tarek being overwhelm. Man, frustrating round there, because those are. I mean, those are. I mean, I'll, I'll play. I'll play Tarek Draven against both of those decks, and I'll, I expect to win sixty percent plus all the time. Like I, I think I'm pretty favored in both those matchups. I, I like both those matchups, but that doesn't mean you you, you never win a hundred percent. 
Um, and that's that's the thing about just in general favor like matchups in general. I think that the people way like really overrate matchups. Like some people like they'll be like, oh man, this is an 80-20 matchup. Win 80 percent of the time. There's there's this game. There's not any 80-20 matchups at all. Like there's there's not. Especially from like the popular decks, there's there's nothing that's 80-20. Things are always things are a lot closer than what there are. Like um, like Cordek, like I, Cordek, I was watch, I was looking at that. You, you found you saw like that uh, uh, Excel file that you that you had on uh, that you sent like that you said you you found it from Reddit that had like matchups and it was it was <laughs> it was kind of ridiculous. So there was like so many like seventy thirties on there. A seventy thirty matchup is is really lopsided and and they just had like you know, matchups that should, basically every matchup that that thing had that was like 60-40 should have been more like, yeah, that one. They had a lot of things that were like 60-40 that really should have been like 55-45 and like the 70-30s should be like 60-40. Basically everything kind of needed to go down like that and like the 80-20s they had on there were like maybe 65-35. They really pronounced uh, the matchups. One thing that, one thing that, because I was looking at like the, because they have Ash Sejuani is the only deck that I have on here. They have so many like 70 30 and 80 20 matchups with Ash Sejuani, which is kind of silly. But one thing that I, I, I laughed about was, um, Ezreal Draven is 70 30 Ash Sejuani, which, okay, I, I don't, I don't believe that, but it has Ash Sejuani winning 70% of the time. And then for Ezreal Draven, but then Ezreal Swain is 60% Ezreal Swain. <laughs> So for some reason, Ash Sejuani beats the with Draven seventy percent of the time, but loses to Swain sixty percent of the time. I thought that was uh, pretty funny. Um, when honestly, for Ash Sejuani, the Swain version is a lot easier to beat because <laughs> it's it's a it says it's very hard to deal with the Leviathan and Swain, and that's actually not really true. It's by the time they're getting to Leviathan and Swain, you you have Cooling Strike and Frost and uh, and um, Cooling Strike and Frostbite cards and stuff like that by then, but the Draven deck's a lot faster, a lot more aggressive, a lot more Nexus damage. That one's harder to deal with. But anyway, um, yeah, mo yeah, most matchups are close to 50-50. A lot of it's pilot, you know. A lot, you know, like like the actual matchups are probably like the good matchups for a deck is like 55-45. That's a good matchup, and if it if it's really good, it's 60-40. If it's like incredible, it's 65-35. You know, like 70-30 is is really rare. 80-20 um, is 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 just like the rarest <laughs> you know you don't really have i don't think there are any 80 20s in this game um but uh yeah so I, i'm just saying that just kind of going on a little rant here of um basically saying that even though i like i like my chances in both of those matchups but i think that they are like you know 60 40 at best you know maybe so like that's still you know 40 times out of 100 i'm losing and i lost both of those um so that, that's why it's you know it's frustrating to lose good matchups, but you're going to, you know, like it doesn't matter what you play, you're gonna play against good matchups and you're gonna lose and you'll be frustrated like I was. Um, but just understand that that's that's gonna happen 40% of the time still. Little rant there. Okay, well that's round three. So we're gonna have to win the last two if we want to get the card back because we gotta win three out of five for the card back. So that's what we're going to try to do. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. Let me know what you think of like the matchup uh, stuff I was just talking about or um, you know what what you play, how'd you do, um, anything like that. But uh, this is exciting to have these seasonal tournaments. We'll have these every two months now with the new expansions. That's definitely exciting. Didn't do the best today, but um, you know, still getting, getting used to the game, everything. We'll uh, try it again in a couple of months. All right, uh, that's it here for round three. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.